have a great day friends myself sushant agrawal today we are going to discuss in our subject of uwe traction motors its control and train lighting this is already i have given that is assignment number 6 it contains some spppo exam questions that are important one for your concept also and for your understanding also on this basis we are going to discuss first topic we had selected that is characteristic of traction motors in this topic the question here state any six desired properties of traction motors so let's discuss some characteristics for traction motor that are electric on one first motor should be capable of operating in parallel they should not produce large variation in torque develop and current drawn by various motors overload capacity of the motor should be high voltage fluctuation with strength capacity should be exist in the traction motors ease of electric braking high efficiency simple speed control high starting torque robustness means motor can withstand for fall condition dirt and water mechanical characteristics motor should be robust ability to withstand for the vibrations it should be small size weight of the traction motor should be <coughs> less traction motor must be totally enclosed type to provide protection against dust dirt and water general characteristic here it should be have longer life it should possess high rate of acceleration and retardation low initial cost less maintenance cost here we are taking the example of dc series motor for its characteristic it is a good uh, suitability for the traction motors you know the back emf for dc series motor that is p5 nz upon 60 a p is number of pole phi is flux n is speed z is number of conductors a is a parallel path once you simplify in equation so other parameters are constant and back emf and flux is variable so speed can be depend on back emf and field flux torque armature characteristic here that are non linear one initially torque is directly proportional to square of the armature current then after saturation point it is linearly proportional then speed load characteristic or speed torque characteristic that is again non linear one it has good starting torque and this is one of the reason it is used due to its dc supply in our traction thanks for listening this video next videos are again based on this unit that is unit number 6